What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Factory Town and straight off where we left off Straight off where we left off. Yes um, I am looking to now set up the Elixir I believe it's called which is the health potion and the remedy together with some mana that then makes of course the 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 elixir after that is just the necklace which is again the earth essence or earth crystals with gold i think nice and simple we've got plenty of gold that's for sure i had it ages ago because i didn't know what it was for so there you can see the elixirs are being made straight away we only need 20 but i think i mentioned it in the last episode so don't forget it in this episode don't just give up at 20 you may wink wink need more and there he goes well with the mana belts now so that is the magic rails the mana belts and the elixirs completed or at least completed for the amount that we need for that quest right to get up to level nine all that's left now is the necklaces and to do that we need gold earth essence i believe it is the purple one and i think it also needs polished stone so we will look to do that and over here you can see this is where we make our earth stones the earth uh, sorry yeah the earth essence coming from earth crystals and the, yeah earth crystals not earth stones so the earth crystal is made with earth essence now we are doing it over here as well because we found a plot of uh, the the earth crystals but the train is what is automating the volumes the essences to the different temples and we don't yet currently have one going to the purple so albeit this is overkill i am going to make a giant train line that goes there as well so the same train will do exactly the same thing but it will also do it for the earth and purple as it's called so the train will be doing the earth purple water blue and air yellow leaving the red fire to um, just manage on its own because it's like right next to the temple anyway so it don't matter now the cargo ships that are bringing over the mana stones are blocked by this so i am going to throw in a quick bridge then the cargo ships will be able to path through here. You can see them all in the background there, currently blocked. As soon as I open this up, they will be able to go under it. The train, of course, will be able to go over it. And everything is back as it should be. There we go. That is the train over. And then just delete those now supporting parts that aren't required. And the boats, cargo ships, yes, are back up and running. Choo choo. I don't know why they go left to go. The, the, the path in's a bit weird. But let's not judge. So I just added on to the train track to make it the set exactly the same as it was, but instead of looping and doing a, a loop um, where the essence was picked up, it now goes past that to here, which is a new train station set at the Purple Temple. It then goes back on itself, back past the essence, catch up, and rinse and repeat. So it may take some essences all the way down the track the wrong way, whether it be taking the purple to the others or the others to the purple, it doesn't matter. But it will go past all of the drop-offs and of course the train stations will only take the right colour or element that is required. Apparently we've run out of coal over here because it can't reach. Now you can do it two ways. We have a thousand pickaxes, so I could have just gone underground and put in... Um, yeah, the underground tunnels to continue them. But instead, I'm just going to break it into two separate quarries. Uh, I'm not sure what's cheaper, actually. The quarries require 10 pickaxes each. So that's 20 pickaxes. Yeah, I would have used a lot more than 20 pickaxes to build the... Because it's a pickaxe per tile. And we would have done about 30, 40 tiles. So, yeah, this is technically cheaper. But the output here needs to be changed. Yeah, there we go. So we've got one now. That one on the left is fueling the train only, going into that barn in the background. Which holds two stacks of coal and two stacks of water. That is just for that train, which you could argue is almost going around the entire map now. Because it goes from there, and then just not too far behind us is where the purple 
Earth Temple is. So that trained us some serious distance. Maybe it'd have been easier just to take it straight. Anyway, we're not going to get into that now. It's probably not as close as I originally thought. In the background, you can see everything else just running smoothly. People are happy. What are we at? We're at level 14 in happiness. I'm not sure if there's a cap on the happiness. If anybody knows, let me know. Um, all that's doing now really is increasing the amount of people we're allowed. And increasing that just means we have to upgrade everything that we've already made. So I'm not too bothered about increasing the happiness anymore. Or at least upgrading past level 14 to 15. And getting more people. Because while the people that I do have are being fed, watered and juiced and whatever else they require. Goodies and... Um, if I don't increase that amount, then I won't need to increase all of the other farms, setups, mines, etc., etc. Just bring it back to show you where I'm doing the research, the the magical, so to speak, research, both from the fire essence, um, water, air, earth, etc. You can see there in the background there are two huge setups that are bringing in books. Paper coming in from the very top of the screen and then cotton going into cloth going into books on the right of the screen or it's the bottom of the screen now. They go into that uh, building enchanter and then are combined with mana. They then come out as these mana books which go into each of these wizard towers. Each of the wizard tower has its own element again of the four and then out of there come the research books that are required. This one on the very end, I believe, is the purple. Yep, this is the Earth Research. And you can see the books go in. And then what we want out of there are the books coming out of the purple books, which go into that barn at the very bottom of the screen. And then they are all picked up by carts and sent over to the schools in the town. Thus giving us the magical research. Here comes one, two now off the bottom left of the screen. They're not set to take a specific tire, they're just set to take everything. And then the essence that's continuing past here, of course, is the essence that's going to the train to be sent to the different temples. And you can see there in the bottom, actually, good timing, the Earth Crystal achievement there. Remember, this is the first time I've played it, so that's why you've seen all of these achievements. You shouldn't see them again. Um, but that means that the train has made it over to the Earth Crystal, and it has made an Earth Crystal, which means now we have that Earth Power that we can use for the next steps. More importantly, the necklaces. So with that in mind, jumping forward a little bit, we've moved over to where we did the, the rods, the magic ones that we had to do previously. The same enchanter, but the items are slightly different now. So what we need to do is get that polished stone, mana, and earth crystals. I'm not sure if we need gold or not. I can't remember. But into that enchanter. And this is where we're then going to make the necklaces. Again, the ones that you just saw me uh, clear off the track were going into that barn. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Remember, you may, may need them later on. So don't just delete them. As you saw me there go on the barn, it's full. And I didn't delete it. That turns out to be critical. Maybe, wink. I really should do a better job of letting you know if I'm going to do spoilers. But anyway, so we'll get some more barns down now just for the items that we do require to make the necklaces. Also, I'm still at this point trying to recharge the old mana crystals. But quite frankly, I just found it better to delete them. Um, unless you're going into super late game. Just to complete the game, I really don't think you're ever going to run out. Unless you get a really bad seed. Or you delete resources by accident. Just finished tweaking a bit more of the mana crystals. Getting them put into the network a bit more. We'll look underground shortly and see that. There it is. That is my network for the recharging of the crystals. And as you can see, they're all very, very slow. Um, I do have new ones coming in all the time. And as long as two things don't happen. One, you get too many and it blocks blocks up with the actual mana crystals or the outputs get filled with the depleted mana crystals both of them are things you don't want to happen and there goes the train on his way to the earth temple lightly filled with some earth essence 
plenty of essence over here and that then goes into the earth temple it's not getting mana crystals as you can see which is why it's not using up the essence so we need to fix that as well which is annoying because as you can see passing it on that shoot is mana shards so yeah we're lacking mana on the outskirts of these lines where i've sent them out using the mana pipes still got people moving the jam process here that really could be faster and with the magic of editing it is there we go so we've got three lines coming out now i am going to set them so each of the there's four in total this star fruit one as well that we can't do or cactus fruit so you can see red green purple on each of the lines loads of farms there working fuel as well coming in at the bottom for wood being the fuel and then sugar coming from a sugar farm and then all of these jams are going to go into the tavern and give a massive boost to happiness to our civilians. And you can see it is climbing up quite drastically there. Nearly 2,900 out of 3,400. Again, I'm not likely to get anywhere near the 3,400 if I do it with by accident. Because I don't really want any more people. Um, what I'm after now is producing enough research to push through these stages and get to that end game now which is a lot of mana, a lot of research, and a lot of waiting, it seems. Now you can see we have got progress on the necklaces. 10 out of 20, and down on the bottom of the screen, you can see there that we are using... It turns out it was iron ingots, not gold ingots. I don't know if I ever used the gold ingots. Maybe... I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so we just need now to get the output put into a barn. So that we can make more because it obviously only holds 10. So as soon as we switch that to necklaces, that should take them out, which means more are allowed to be made. And boom. Necklace is complete. We are now on level 9. And to complete to level 10, we need Omni Mana Pipes and Omni Crystals. That sounds expensive. And it certainly is. I put a lot of time into working on the Omni Crystals, and we'll get to that shortly, though. I did decide to make a whole new settlement and decorate it just because I can. On this little island, self-sufficient, I'm not bringing in any goods from any of the main setup that I've got. This is just one little tiny, let's say, fishing village on the outskirts of the map. And fishing because there is two fishing plots nearby, both of which are being mined or fished for the food. So they've got that. They've also got some berries coming in from there. And then I'm just building out some bit of structure over the... It's a bit like, what you call it, Venice, where they live on the water. I don't know. I just got a bit bored and thought, I know what I'll do. I'll make a, another little settlement. It's also bringing up the happiness as well, which was a lot easier than doing the complicated stuff that we originally had. So that's why you can see we've actually gone up a level. Like I say, it would have been by accident, and it was. So we are now on level 15. Uh, but unless this place kicks off, it's not going to get to level 16 anytime soon. 1,500 people total is what we're allowed. 134 houses, which what we have. Uh, and as far as I know, as long as I keep these happy-ish, they should continue to pro progress with us as well. Back to the Omni Crystal process now, which is very complex and requires a lot of research which is mainly what I'm waiting for you can see there we complete the research now so we've got the mana reactor we're allowed to build the mana omni pipes now and the omni planters so we've unlocked it now we need to build it the final omni crystal that's required as well also needs to be unlocked at a later date but we'll leave them to continue you can see there on that huge belt that is the magic research the element elemental research that's going past um, all of which is counting up to the thousands and thousands that we do require. This is the Mana Reactor. This combines... Oh, I've already unlocked it, obviously. Sorry. Anyway, um, this combines all three, four of the crystals, along with the Mana Crystal, the white one, so five, you could argue, into them Omni Crystals. Them Omni Crystals then are mixed with the Mana Pipes and make your Omni Pipes. So actually, the crystals are before the pipes, per se. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the Omni Pipes are for, what it is to transfer, unless it transfers everything. 
is what it, I get the impression of, but I don't actually think I need to use them. Maybe. But what we need to do now is you can see all these mana lines where we've got the mana crystals on them, all the different colours. We need to get these to come into one location, which is where we just put that build in, the reactor, along with the white ones as well. So all five of the crystals need to come into one place. And then we need a bit of power and some purple coins, and we'll be making the magic stuff. It is for sure going to get colourful underground with all of these different crystals coming into one place. The magic cloaks, the enchanter and that are, are also being processed. Just looking at a few of them items. A lot of them you can make for, I don't know, for, for, for purple coins. That, this is what I'm after, right? I need a lot more purple coins. Because it costs purple coins to make the Omni crystals. And strangely, what I didn't realize was that the the enchanter that makes all of these fancy items doesn't actually give you purple coins for all of them. So you have to be careful. Uh, necklaces are the best income for purple coins uh, that I could find. And of course, we already have that set up. So I just need to keep it going. Now, that does mean using the earth crystals and we require earth crystals for the Omni Crystals as well. So we're going to have to try and force that volume up. You can see there we've got purple, yellow, blue. No red yet and no white. But it's a bit of a... It's a bit of spaghetti, but everybody likes spaghetti, right? So it shouldn't hurt anyone. That enchanter there is specifically designed to make the necklaces with the extra crystals we get, the purple ones, the earth. And then that will send them directly to the selling shop. For the town speciality, we can push multiple things. Now, the commerce one, I'm not sure if that's gonna do multiple coins. But what I do know is that artistry are the items that we're doing. So the jams that we set up and all of those variant of the better goods, the cloaks, the clothing, all of that sort of stuff. So doubling that output is definitely the way to go, in my opinion. Like I said. And that will give us free... I say free. It is two times output chance is 100% because of the town level. So it is level 10 finished. So yeah, it's 100%. So all of them items now we are getting double of, which is uh, prudent to the to the jam, which it takes a lot of resources to make them. You can see it's the farms that are letting them down at the minute, but we can increase that by taking additional shoots out of the farms because the farms will produce more than what one shoot can handle. Also, steam. We set that up an episode or two ago. So we'll get steam in there as well, and that'll improve the speed of the kitchen but you can see the, the kitchen struggling for the actual fruits from the individual fruit trees now they are pushing out more than the belts can handle so the fix to that is this more shoots that'll do couldn't really do much for the purple just because of how it's built uh, there's not enough faces that I can see. I've got no spare faces left. I could go elevated, but I'm not that bothered. The apple and pear uh, jams are increased, doubled. The berry is the same. It's fine. You can see it's working there. Remember, they're all being doubled as well based on the speciality for this town along with the stuff like the bread and the sandwiches and all the other fancy things that we can get and you can see a massive amount of coins coming in there 1.4 million blue coins that is a nice number I'm not sure what we use the blue coins for in terms of buying i know the red coins i use for leveling the land which is why 350k but we must have spent a million on uh, flattening the world just to make building on it easier and then the purple coins are coming in slowly but we're also using them to buy the omni crystals which are very expensive i'm running out of books the magic box to do the research so as you can see i've dramatically increased there we now have six belts of cotton two full farms of cotton coming in that go into three and then it's six 
full belts of fabric that are turned into the books with paper. It's a bit insane. That one's backed up because there's a normal book on there which needs to be deleted, so I can do that. And you can see even with that, the amount of research coming out is, it's, it's steady, but it's slow. A lot of this will be waiting on my part. I think a couple of the items I had to wait like a good hour, hour and a half. You're not getting that, you're not seeing that because I said I'd try and speed these episodes up. So be warned, if you do this um, and you come to it last minute like I did, you will likely find that you ha do have to sit for an hour or two waiting for the research to build up. You can go for the level two, level threes to speed it up dramatically, but that's a lot of infrastructure. Um, when we're, we're nearly at the end of the game now, I guess. I'm just increasing the steam production as well because a couple of the lines were drying up. So we can achieve that nice and easily. You can see the crystals now, by the way. We have finished. So we've done 100 of the crystals. 100 of the Omni crystals. All we need now is to make the Omni pipes. And the question is, what are the Omni Pipes? Well, actually, they're just the Omni Crystals that we already had. And then two of the Mana Pipes, which we have a crap ton of. Over a thousand, as you can see. So all we need to do is combine them two together. Now, I am using the airships. They are really good for long distance. And I'm using them mainly because of these crystal things just going over such long distances. And to transport goods to specific areas that I can't be bothered to set up a whole... You know, if it just needs like 20 of something, it seems silly to get a train or a belt to do that. So I'm using the airships. Now, the downside to it is I haven't unlocked and I'm nowhere near able to unlock the stations for them. So they are very slow. But as you can see, we already have that. The the airships are bringing over the mana, the mana pipe. Sorry. They're then being combined with the Omni Crystals and the Mana Pipes. The Omni Pipes are being made. We are now on 20 of 200. 10% of the way there. And that was actually very easy. The Omni Crystals were quite a trek. Probably a couple of hours of work for me to get those made. But this, because we already have those crystals, 100 of them, and we had over 1,000 of the Mana Pipes, this bit was pretty easy you can see they're now counting up in twos because it makes two per and completed level 10 crafting done so hopefully if we click that now we'll know what is next tech level level 10 is completed new unlocks omni stone upgrades and civics level 5 so that means you can use them stones to upgrade every building now um, and that's gone so all we have left to do to complete the game is build the Omni Temple. And that will be in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. Any comments are welcome. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. And remember, please, that I have many other games to watch. Thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.